welcome back to a new vlog guys so today i've just finished off running some errands because i am off to amsterdam tomorrow which is super exciting i've never been before i'm going for two nights on a work trip with my agency so my agency is based in the netherlands so they're hosting their like end of summer party over there which will be really nice really looking forward to it and seeing everyone but also a little bit anxious as well because i've not flown on my own for such a long time i can't remember the last time that i flew on my own i think it was when i worked at h&m and i was doing store openings and i was flying to edinburgh um on i think it was with flyby and honestly it was a propeller plane flying to edinburgh and it was so rough the flight was so rough um so it wasn't a great experience for someone that doesn't feel like i'm fine like traveling everywhere with russ but i don't know when i'm traveling on my own i get really like anxious um but yeah fingers crossed everything will be okay i know there was some flights and everything cancelled like over the weekend of the bank holiday because the whole like uk air system went down so yeah i'm hoping that everything is all i've had no updates from easyjet to say that anything is like cancelled or delayed so fingers crossed everything's gonna be all okay my flight is so early in the morning i'm getting the 7 a.m flight so which is taking me to the airport um so yeah, I need to finish off. I haven't really packed that much. I've got no idea what to pack, what to wear. I've got a cabin case too, so I haven't flown in like cabin for ages. So I need to figure out all my toiletries, all my makeup and everything. I'm just, yeah, I know Manchester can be quite strict when it comes to toiletries. So I'm making sure that they all fit inside like a plastic bag. Um, I think I'm going to have to buy some bits in the airport as well, like deodorant and hairspray. I'm just going to get that in the airport because, yeah, I don't want to risk, like, I feel like I want to take, I'm taking lots of, like, little travel minis. Um, but I don't want to risk, like, throwing away any, like, decent makeup. So, yeah, I am still need to figure all that out. But also, thank you so much for the love on my new car. I'm honestly so happy. I'm obsessed with the sunroof and everything. It's, like... My dream car the more that i drive it the more that i fall in love with it i'm honestly so happy it's just nice to have my own wheels again i feel like i've got my independence back it's so weird because i've had no car for four years i mean i must have car shared like do you know what i mean i haven't had the car that much it was only ever if i needed it, i take him to work it was always a massive faff so to be able to just like okay i'm gonna pop out and run some errands or i'm gonna pop here i'm gonna pop there i haven't got to think oh what about the car what time is rust back i need to take him in i need to have the car it just gives you that like independence and like flexibility back as well i felt like i could never really plan stuff in advance because of the whole car situation but i'm honestly loving it so much i love all the interior it's like um i would say i really wanted the sort of like really light cream interiors but on the new evokes it's like this sort of contrast so i really like it looks really light but it's actually like a really like light gray so when the sun shines in it looks super light it's also the same like on the wheel and stuff as well um but yeah everything is just yeah it's a dream i honestly so pleased with this car so yeah thank you again for all the love on it so yeah i'm gonna go and get cracking and figure out what i'm taking I sort out my toiletry bags and yeah i feel like i've left this so last minute <laughs> hello baby i've not even been gone that long i've literally been gone about 20 minutes hugo come on in i don't think you were on the last vlog look how happy you are come on in come on here a little somebody then yeah good okay happy is this is his new little toy Daddy got you that toy, didn't he? I think that was from... I feel like all these toys are from Asda or B&M. Do you want to sit on your comfy bed? Um, Dust kindly sent Hugo a dog bed, which is really nice. It matches the lounge, like it matches the throws and stuff, but he keeps... like Hugo is climbing on the sofa now, so I have to be very careful. With a little monkey, he's not meant to be doing that. Um, so Dust kindly sent me this bed for him and we just throw this little teddy throw which is just from Dunelm like I love these teddy throws and he's absolutely obsessed with it so yeah you're nice and cosy do you want to go and lie on your bed he's like no I want to you wouldn't think he's been for a walk I already took you before I went out this your toy this is the current situation as you can see my suitcase is completely empty i've just brought it in this room because all my stuff is in here i've had a bit of a sort out and a tidy in here before my wardrobes come and yeah i'm just trying to figure out the liquid situation so i found one of these bags I, some airports um say that all your toiletries need to fit into a bag that's this size but i feel like the airport ones are a bit smaller than this so i've been on tiktok and i've seen people using 
these. I got this off Amazon. It's just a cabin liquids bag. And some airlines and some airports have been fine and some haven't. Um, I've seen so many mixed reviews and it's really stressing me out. So obviously this is my current situation and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I've literally got all my liquids. I think I'm going to ditch the setting spray because I haven't got a mini setting spray so i don't know whether to take this out and then see if i can buy some mini setting sprays in duty free um but yeah as you can see i've got all my liquid bits so i've got my like foundation and everything my perfume i've got some micellar water i've got a serum because i can't take all the skincare that i've been doing so i'm gonna have to just take some of my other favorites and then i've put all my makeup um, in my other bag so they said that hard like solid makeup like blushes um eyeshadow palettes like pencils all that jazz lipsticks can be put in just a normal makeup bag it hasn't all got to be in one of these bags but they say like one of these like per person um but i've seen people literally having like a bag like this and absolutely brimming it and getting through i just don't want to risk having things thrown away or taken off me so i think i just need to rejig this round a little bit i'm going to hunt for some more of my minis um i've got some like little like cleansers i've got my little mini and limits cleansing mold that's got to go in there a little mini facial oil i'm going to take my gusha um like stone as well because i find that if i don't use my lumi spa my face goes super puffy so i'm going to take some facial oil just so i can like deep off my face properly obviously like makeup in here as well my concealer and that's got to go in there toothpaste it's just like all these little faffy bits so i'm going to see if i can have a hunt for some more minis but i can't see why this wouldn't be okay i think as long as this fits inside one of them it should be okay but yeah fingers crossed so i've just been putting some bits on the rail but this is what i'm gonna wear for dinner on the evening time it's just this really nice like bandeau rib dress from h&m it's like a midi length style i've styled it before and i thought i'd style it with my sleeveless blazer this is super old i hadn't styled it for ages and i saw like an outfit on pinterest and i was like oh that'd be really nice with this so i was gonna start it with like a long um blazer but i sort of want to show off like my jewelry my accessories i've got some nice new like pandora jewelry pieces as well which i want to wear with it um so yeah i feel like i'm gonna go for this and then go for some lower heels and the bag and then it's just figuring out the daytime so i think that i'm gonna travel in this trench coat with my Annie and Bing hoodie standard, my black Adnola leggings, I might just wear some socks and my Sambas and just start take one pair of trainers. Um, we are doing like a boat ride as well on the canal. So I'm really stressed out. Like the weather is really hitting me. So I don't want to be wearing something where I potentially get soaked through. So I've packed a brolly and everything, but I'm thinking whether just to take like a pair of jeans, I might just take these and other stories ones, like take those jeans and then maybe like a striped t-shirt or a plain t-shirt to go with this trench coat. But then I might as well just take this short trench coat and then yeah i don't want to pay, take loads of stuff because i only got cabin luggage which is what's stressing me out but then i want to have options that's why that's why i always end up end up checking a bag into the hold honestly I don't know how people go on holiday with a cabin bag because i always struggle so much so i think i'm gonna do this outfit for the boat ride so these are just my storage jeans i'm starting with my sambas this trench coat which i'm going to travel in i always try and make sure whatever i'm traveling in i'm going to like wear as well um this strap t-shirt is just from h&m and then i've got this really nice shoulder bag it's actually new in my wardrobe so i went to an event with katie loxton last week and i spotted this bag and i thought this would be perfect for amsterdam it's a really nice shoulder bag but i could fit so much in there so i feel like i might just have this like inside my suitcase or inside my tote bag as my hand luggage bag um so i'm thinking this with some sunnies just for exploring if it does get like warm as well i can just take this off and it's like a really nice long sleeve top underneath because i don't want to pack a jumper because i feel like it's not going to be 
that sort of cold. Um, but yeah, I'm loving my Sambas at the moment. I feel like I'm styling them with absolutely everything. So I think this works for a nice city, exploring Amsterdam in the daytime. And then for the second night, I'm thinking of wearing this. So I ordered the little cropped jacket from Marks and Spencers. I just popped on this little Nike corset underneath and these trousers. I don't know what the plans are for the next night. So we're only doing stuff together like with the agency on the one night. So I decided to stay the extra night just to see like obviously have two nights in Amsterdam. So I don't know what the plans are for the second night. So I thought I might as well pack something that's a little bit dressy, but I've just started with some ballet flats. But I'm thinking if we're going somewhere that's a little bit more like casual, I could just like do this jacket up and then wear my jeans underneath with some ballet flats so it looks a bit more casual. But I love this Marks and Spencer's jacket. It looks so nice, so premium. Um, and these trousers are, of course, from Nike. They always do the best tailoring, but they're the perfect length on me as well. So I was gonna pack my like, little court shoes in, but I just feel like ballet flats still look super nice dressed up for an evening. And I don't wanna be, I'm not sure if we're gonna be like walking around everywhere um, in the evening times. So, yeah, I really wanna be practical and comfortable. So I'm just gonna pack these bits into my packing cubes. These are the ones that I got off Amazon and literally use on the cruise. They're just so good at organizing everything. I've just popped like underwear, pajama bits and all that in that one. I have got a thing for my shoes, but I'm gonna use this tote bag um, as a like hands luggage bag. Because basically I get one one large cabin bag, which I've paid for, which is this one. This is where EasyJet get you. And then you get a free small cabin bag. And I actually thought that was my suitcase at first. But when I read the small print, it means like a bag that fits under the seat, so a handbag. So I feel like I'm just gonna use a tote bag and I'm just gonna pop in my Uniqlo um, like crossbody bag. I might just put it on like underneath my trench coat and over my hoodie. Just put my passport, my purse and my phone and my camera in, literally that's it. And then use this bag then to put any other shoe bits in. I'm also gonna put my liquids and my straighteners in here. I've got my um, Dyson Crown straighteners. So I'm gonna pop them all in there just so it's easy for security because nothing worth having to like open your suitcase and get everything out. It's just so annoying. So I thought if I got all my um, liquids in here and the electricals, then that's just a quick fix. So yeah, I'm gonna pop all these bits now into the cubes. in Amsterdam so I am staying at the Hoxton the weather has been very random so far we literally came at the airport and then when I got the train to Amsterdam Central and um, we we're waiting outside there to get a tram to where we needed to go and literally it was one it was sunny and then the heavens opened so I feel a little bit bedraggled and luckily I didn't get my hair that wet but I've just gone for comfort today um traveling in my animing hoodie my Adidas leggings and also this Uniqlo bag is just like my favorite it's just so good for traveling and putting your bits in I also use it to go dog walking as well it's just a really great little bum bag so you can literally fit loads in it but I thought I'd do a little room tour so I am staying at the Hoxton this is the one that begins with the H the Hein probably gonna butcher it but it's the one that's basically right on the canal um so I managed to check in early as I'm staying here for two nights so when I walked in there was like all music and stuff in here but a very cool room and then you sort of overlook as well this like little square down here 
And then the bathroom is through here. The bathroom is super nice. I pop the light on. So yeah, this is the bathroom. And yeah, lighting's really cool in here. I love all the like brass piping, but this is the cozy room. It's also a really big walk-in shower. Yeah, this is the cozy room. So I didn't think I'd be able to check in yet, but luckily I'm staying here for two nights, then one night's with my agency, but luckily I've been able to keep the same room for the night. And yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring Amsterdam a little bit. I am going to maybe just freshen up a little bit. I might just have a little wander around. I'm so hungry. I only had like a pastry at the airport and I look like so shy. So I feel like I need to wash my face and everything. But yeah, super excited to be in Amsterdam. Also, I was completely fine with traveling with this bag. I put a response and like a little poll on my Instagram and so many people were like, yes, you'll get through. And then so many people were like, oh my God, no, you won't. Um, so I was completely fine, but I what I will say is I think it completely depends on the security that you're having because I went through and the guy was like super chill like obviously I think if you're one of those people in the airport and you sort of leave everything to last minute just have everything ready and sort of like look organized like you know when people get there and they're like decide to start taking stuff off and open all the bags and stuff instead of having everything to hand before you go through security um because I found that the one behind me there's a lady behind me a security guard and she was making everyone like put everything into bags because they were faffing. They were literally like getting loads of toiletry bags out and they were just faffing. It's like, no, all that needs to go into a bag. So I think it just depends on who you get on security. But my bag actually got stopped going to the one side because I left my freaking Vaseline in my Uniqlo bum bag. And I was getting stressed because I was like, oh my God, have they stopped me because of that? But it's because they wanted to check my Vaseline, but also my Corel straighteners because they have like a flight mode thing on, which was plugged in, but they just wanted to double check the straighteners. So yeah, my bag was all okay. dinner so I thought I'd film a get ready with me with all the makeup bits that I use I literally just rinse my face off um so I'm gonna pop on some skincare so I managed to grab one of my minis this is the Clinique Moisture Surge which was perfect for just after the plane but for my primer and SPF I've been loving using this one by Beautyply it's just a really light SPF sometimes I can find the SPFs are like really like heavy and like oily on your skin but this has been just so nice your skin just absorbs it and it's made like a really nice base for my makeup so far we literally just had like a little wander around and um, so i'm here for like two nights so i'm trying to sort of get my bearings a little bit um but there's loads of like cute coffee places i've nearly been knocked over <laughs> by so many cyclists they're literally everywhere in amsterdam so I'm just sort of walking around and I have to be careful. The, the sort of like footpaths are quite narrow. So like cars are coming down, those cyclists are coming down. So it's a bit busy. So I'm just gonna do my brows first. I've been using this one, which is the soap brows. I do this first, just so that you don't get any like residue. Sometimes I find like with brow serums and stuff, um, you get like all the white cakiness. And I also picked up this setting spray from the airport. It's by MAC. It's their Fix Plus All Day Hydrating Spray Vitamin C. So it's a sort of like, um, I have a set setting spray, but also it's a nice like mist as well. But I always use that on my soap brows. So I'm gonna just do that quickly. I just sort of brush, brush backwards. So the product like soaks into my eyebrow and then I just sort of brush in a place. Just gonna wipe off any bits with this. But I also wanted to thank you guys as well um, for the love and all your nice comments on my last vlog and um, regarding the comments got on TikTok. Um, so kind of you and I honestly feel, after all those comments, I honestly felt so much better. Like I feel like I was so like in my head 
Um, and people saying stuff like that to me is just a reflection of them, which is just so true. So yeah, thank you so much for just being so kind. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter first. This is the shade for, I use this one when I have like just a little bit of like colour on my face, but I usually use the Three Fair, like normally like more in the autumn winter. Um, but I've still got like a little bit of a, I have a little bit of a tan from the cruise. But like this makeup product has been like my holy grail. It's just such, I just felt when you put it underneath your foundation, you can wear it on its own as well, but I just love wearing it underneath my foundation. So I feel like it gives me that extra bit of like glow. And I just blend it in with my brush. This is also from Charlotte Tilbury. It's their foundation brush. It's also got a concealer bit on, but it's a really good brush. I just try and avoid like my under eyes. I'll sort of do my eyebrows just a little bit. Then I'm gonna do my under eyes. This is the Beauty Pie Under Eye Gina. It's a really great like color corrector. So I always have like sort of dark pigmentation under my eyes and it's great underneath the foundation. Um, not foundation, sorry, a concealer. You only need like a small bit as well. And this is the brush that it comes with. You can order like a little duo or you can order this brush on its own, but I use this for my concealer, but it just sort of brightens my under eye area. You can just sort of see compared to that one. It just brightens and lifts. You literally just need a small bit and it melts into your skin. They do it in two different colors. This is the shade light medium. They also do it in medium dark as well. I just sort of blend it into these. I've got like really dark pigment in the corner of my eyes, but you can also use this as well as a sort of like top up and like a highlighter too. Um, but it's just really good underneath your concealer. So I sort of apply this, then I apply my foundation, then I do my concealer on the top. And for my foundation, I am obsessed with this. I didn't think I'd find a foundation that I literally love as much as the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. And I feel like this is so buildable. So you can have like a really minimal coverage and go for a medium coverage. But for even times I do do like two coats and do a double coverage. And I wear this in the shade five. So it blends so nice. It's just, I like my makeup to look, like my skin to look like my skin underneath my makeup. Um, and this just blends so nicely and it wears really well. I feel like it lasts so good. It definitely lasts better than my Charlotte Tilbury one because I feel like that sort of like wears. Two seconds, my steamer's here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have, I didn't bring my steamer with me and there wasn't an iron in the room. I had to request it. So that was a lady bringing my iron for me. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have fitted my <laughs> steamer in my hand luggage. I don't think you can bring steamers. Um, so yeah, I'll literally just blend this in, sort of avoiding my eye area. I find that if I end up like getting like foundation like on my eye area, that's when I get more creasing. Um, I've just realized I forgot to apply like an under eye cream. I feel like when my eyes are like really hydrated, um, my under eye area gets quite dry. And I've been loving this from, where is it now? From Beauty Pie, it's their triple, triple hyaluronic acid elastic lifting eye serum. And it's really good underneath your makeup, like so good. So I feel like I probably should have topped that up so my eyes don't get dry. Then for my concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Three Fair. And I definitely think that less is more with this product. Like with my concealer now, I've not been applying that much. I've literally been putting some in the corners here and then here, and I'll sort of as well put it on my eyelids because this is really great as like an eyeshadow base. But I find that my eyelids are just super like veiny. I don't think, I feel like I've got some blemishes. I'll sort of pop down my nose. I've come out in like hormonal spots. And I always get it this side. Like I don't get any spots this side. I just get it all in this section here. Um, a little bit up there as well. Now I'll just blend in with this part of the brush. I used to use like a beauty blender um, 
for my concealer but I just find that with my beauty blender even when I do soak it I just feel like I, lo I lose too much product actually this brush is better the um, beauty pie one and then I just go over my eyelids and together it just sits so nicely I hope that the weather um, holds out for tomorrow because we're doing um, a boat ride which should be really cute um, just obviously weather permitting I need to like shoot some content as well tomorrow um, I've got a campaign that I need to shoot and yeah just some little content bits that I want to get for Instagram because I've never been here before um, I just want to film some a little TikTok so I'm glad that I'm here for some of the girls are only here for one night and like some of them have been shooting today and honestly hats off to them like I've literally been <laughs> walking around like a toe this morning because I've just been so tired I feel better after a coffee now I had a coffee earlier um, but I just wanted to feel like fresh and I didn't want to get ready early and do my makeup and then like retouch up um, before dinner because I just hate that like my makeup always gets cakey when I do that and for my contour I've brought these with me these are by Clinique and these are the chubby sticks and they're so good just for quick like contouring so I'll just pop a bit there and they blend super nice I put a bit too much there and I use my um, Charlotte Tilbury brush but I sort of end up like using this and then going in a little bit more with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer this brush is their magic complexion brush but I'll link all them I feel like I just use like, the same the same style brushes but I think Charlotte Tilbury brushes are definitely my favourite I just feel like the bristles like when you clean them as well like they just clean better and I don't sort of like I know sometimes like when I do clean my brushes, I make sure I don't get this bit wet because as soon as you get this bit wet, water goes in there and that's when bristles can fall out. Damn, I'm honestly so quick with my makeup, guys. I literally just go for it. Then I'm just going to top up a bit more with the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This is like a bit deeper than the chubby stick, so I think it's really good just to add a bit more, a bit more contour. I'm undecided what to do with my hair tonight because I, I sort of washed it last night and then blow dried it. I had it down all day and I hate having my hair down now because it just drives me crazy. I just prefer it when my hair's up, it's out of my face and I'm not sort of constantly messing but I feel like my hair will look nicer down with my outfit so I'm just going to see. I just use this as well on my eyelids. I don't really go crazy. I need to experiment more with eyeshadow. <laughs> I always sort of do the same sort of like bronzed eye with a bit of glitter but I'm just crap at doing anything with pencils um with shadows and angled brushes i'm just i'm a quick get ready person i just can't be bothered to be faffing with my eyes and sometimes when i do my eyes too heavy it just doesn't feel like it doesn't suit me but then obviously i love my um my wedding makeup i wore false eyelashes and she did the the charlotte tilbury pillar talk eye but it was with like champagne um it looked really nice and i've just like ever since I'm like I wish I could do that on myself and I just can't do it I'm just running this down my neck just to blend it all out then for my blusher I have been loving these by Beauty Pie they are their super cheek so this is the colour bare blush when I went on the cruise I had like a cobbly one and it looked so nice with like a coral lipstick with a tan but they are basically just cream blushes and they're so pigmented and they blend amazing so I'm just going to pop couple of bits there but I literally just dab this in with my fingers and do it on my high part of my cheekbone I just love creamy base products I just think it works so much better on my skin makes my skin look nicer as well if I use too many like powdered products my skin just doesn't like it it goes cakey on me really fast that's why I have to make sure that I've got as much moisture in my skin for my makeup to sit nicely so I think I actually, I have combination skin, but I feel like when it gets colder, or when you've been traveling as well, your skin's quite dry. Um, but yeah, just look how nice that blends. And I sort of go right up here, sort of give you that sort of like facelift look. Sometimes I put a little bit on my nose. Just sort of gives you that rosy, rosy cheek. You can never have enough blusher. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm just going to use like some shimmer. I might try and have a play and do some darker colours, but I've not got all my um, proper brushes. I'm just yeah, I'm so relieved that I managed to get all my stuff in. <laughs> I've just seen a couple of people um, who have literally thought that it was only like ten liquids, and they've had to go and buy stuff that I bought in the airport. I had to buy hairspray, deodorant, um, a little mini toothpaste. Um, they didn't have micellar water, but I've got my LMS cleansing bar, but I wanted um, so much to remove my eye makeup. So I got um, eye makeup remover, but the stuff in Boots is so expensive. The little mini like Garnier, probably about that big, micellar water, which I always buy. I always get it from like home bargain. It's only like two to three pounds. It's not expensive. Um, or around that sort of price mark. And it was like nine pound 80. And I was like, I can get the super size of that. I thought, fantastic. I've also packed these with me. It's their Long Wear Cream Sticks by Bobbi Brown. I just use this just to lighten my corners. I feel like I should have done this first. I always do this with my makeup. And I'll just sort of like blend. Just to add some lightness to the corner of my eyes. Then for my brows, I'm just going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their Brow Wiz. I'm just going to fill in these little tiny gaps. I feel like I don't really put that much product on my eyebrows. I just sort of fill in the gaps where I just need like a little bit of shape. Like I'll sort of shape underneath here and then I'll go here. I just love how like a soap brow look. Um, and then I'll just like brush just a tiny little bit. I don't want to completely... But I just sort of move the hairs on the top. And it just pushes them together. So super natural. I think if I, if I wear a heavy brow, it's just too much on me. And because I'm quite fair, even though my hair's not as blonde as it used to be, it's darker now because I've let my roots go through and I just have baby lights. I just think a lighter brow just works better. And yeah, I'm literally just filling it in. Any little gaps, I'm just giving them a little bit of a brush without moving the soap brow too much. And then before applying my mascara, I've been doing this little hack. This is just a black long wear liner. I need to get this in the dark brown actually. I think it actually worked better for me. But I'm not great at doing stuff on the top of my eyes. So I learned a little makeup hack when I have my makeup done. So I make my mascara look a bit more fuller is to put eyeliner up there. So it's a bit of a faff doing it. Um, so if you're funny with people touching their eyes then look away. But it just like adds a little bit to my eye. Then when I put my mascara on it makes it look like I've got a bit of winged eyeliner on. I don't know what it is, but it's like when you sort of put um, pencil here. I feel like I need to get like a nice creamy pencil just to brighten my eyes a little bit. Um, sorry, I can't. Oh, sometimes it makes my eyes water though. Now for my mascara, I've been loving this one. This is the Lancome Eyelid Mascara in the colour black. I just make sure I wipe off any Excess. Pick this up from the boots. I always get really cautious about using these though. Before I used use an eyelash curler, I swear it was in high school, and I think one of the rubber bits had split. Um, but I ended up like cutting my eyelashes off, and ever since that, I get really paranoid. And I feel like as well, you need to get really close. Um, but I feel like I'm scared to get too close. I feel like this one is always my better eye as well. You know, you always have a good eye when you're doing your makeup. This is my good eye. And my eyelashes on this eye are just so straight. It's so annoying. So like this one will curl up really nicely. And the other one's just stay straight. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with my powders now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. And it's just my favourite. Like, it's such a good powder. And it's not like too heavy like i said my skin doesn't really like powders um but this it's really nice so i'm just gonna do my under eye this brush is a super old one from nars 
I just sort of do my areas where I go shiny. I do a little bit on my forehead. And then I might put a little bit of concealer just there. Just gonna blend that out. I haven't wet this, so oh, it's not really doing what I need to do. I've been loving this one from Armani Beauty. It's their Luminous Blusher, and this is the shade 50, but I used to be a huge lover of the, I still love it, the NARS um, Orgasm Blush. And this is literally like a very similar, pretty much identical shade, but I think that this blends so much nicer and it's more pigmented. So I have to watch this because I could go crazy with this. Like it's such a nice blusher. Um, so I just go for, it's got a little bit of shimmer in it as well. So I use this as sort of like a blusher highlighter. I just think the less products on my skin just sits so much better. To be fair, I'll probably go in the window in a minute just to make sure I've not put too much on because the light's okay in here, but it's that sort of like yellowy light where you could potentially put too much on. <laughs> so I need a little bit of daylighter, but yeah, it's super shimmery, so nice. Then I'm gonna set it all with this by MAC. Oh, that's quite a wet spray. I feel like, yeah, that's a really wet. I, I wish I'd got the travel size of my Charlotte Tilbury. Um, they do do travel ones, but I only had my big bottle and there's a little bit left, but it wouldn't fit in that bag. So I thought I'd grab this, but I think because this is more, it has the vitamin C and that in it, it's definitely more of a wet setting spray. I really like a mist. Um, so I feel like I might have to dab this down with my beauty blender. Um, you can see my face looks so wet. Before I do my lips, I'm just gonna iron um, my blazer and steam my dress and then figure out what I wanna do with my hair. But I feel like I might do it down for a change. I feel like it's always up at the moment, but I'll just see how I feel. So I'm all ready for dinner now. I had to quickly rush to get ready because I've been filming a campaign, but these new earrings are Pandora. Also got some new Pandora jewels as well, which we will see more of very soon. Um, but yeah, super happy with this dress. I'm glad I've gone with my hair down now. It's nice to have my hair down for a change, but I'm running late, so I need to go down for dinner now. busy day I feel like I've not had a chance to pick up the camera and vlog um we sort of got up this morning and had a little mooch around to shoot some content because it's quite quiet this morning um and then we went on a really cute boat ride with my agency with everyone so it's really cool we sort of like saw all the sights of Amsterdam and down the canal and that and it was just yeah so nice such nice vibes the weather was fine as well we were a bit sort of like it went really black when we was on this open boat and we we're like oh no if it rains they're like, all gonna get soaked but yeah, it was really, really nice. We're just absolutely knackered. It's been, yeah, busy. I'm glad that I've booked to stay the extra night. A lot of people have gone home um, like tonight now and everyone was sort of like really tired and they're like, oh, I've got to travel now. So I'm, I'm gonna know what to do tonight. I don't know whether to, what time is it? I feel like it's about, yeah, 10 past six. So, and this bed, this bed is just so comfy. Um, and the Hoxton, where we are, is such a good location. So if you are going to come Amsterdam, then I definitely recommend this hotel. It's literally in the heart of it. Um, I really like want to come back with Russ. I feel like whenever I come somewhere new, and like Russ hasn't been before, I'm like, oh, he would love this. But whenever I do go away as well, I'm so used to having like Russ with me. Like obviously, he'd like to help me shoot content and whatnot. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like I've lost my left arm because Russ isn't here. Um, and some people had like plus ones and stuff and it would have been lovely for him to have come with me as well but unfortunately obviously with his work and then obviously look after Hugo um, so yeah I feel like I have really missed him this trip but definitely going to come back and the Sen studio I don't think I really vlogged that much last night either um, it was just so nice to see everyone it was more like a sort of like networking event for obviously my agency and they've launched like a new studio space upstairs which they like high rate and stuff like for brands to use and for us to like shoot in I just wish it was based in the UK. Obviously, my agency is based in Amsterdam. 
but yeah it was just super nice nice to see everyone and last night was just all good vibes and um, everyone had a bit too much wine a super late night so it was a bit of a fragile day today but yeah i'm um and are in whether to go out tonight or not because i've got another outfit to wear so i've got an option but now that i've just sat down on this bed i'm like do i just like enjoy the hotel room and order some food or go out and grab something or have food downstairs so um, i'm in knowing what to do um but yeah i'm just super tired so i have dinner plans so we're gonna go to soho house for some dinner i managed to get a table and everything i popped on this beautiful jacket from marks and spencers it's absolutely beautiful we've seen on my tiktok already this looks so like premium i've kept it quite casual and just put up, um, my jeans on but i feel like i might just add a little belt um to it and i've just added my ballet flats so yeah super comfortable i didn't want to put my like cream trousers on i just wanted to keep it nice and casual and i think the jeans still work really well with this outfit so we can't um you can't take pictures in soho house or film or anything so i think i'm gonna take my vlog camera out tonight i'm gonna sort of like be in the moment um before traveling back tomorrow my flight's at 10 past 10 but there's currently rail strikes as well so we'll get back from manchester because what is it work so i'm gonna sort that out in the morning but not gonna go too crazy tonight just have a nice dinner come back and pack and yeah just enjoy amsterdam at night also this bag has been perfect for this trip it's from katie loxton but it's just a good size bag and because of like the shape of it you can fit quite a lot in and it looks really nice for the evening times so i've used this all day got my camera in my power bank the phone i've got an umbrella in here earlier it's just a really good size i've also got some personalization on here with just my initials but it's like really minimal i like how it's got the black stitching and yeah it's just such a nice quality i feel like i want this in a nice cream color now because yeah i just know i'm gonna be styling it so much this autumn 